I had just finished my senior high school season. It was December 17th, 2021. I was going to hang out with my volleyball friends from club. I was just hanging out with them and I like took off a sweatshirt and there was a ton of hair in the hood of it. And I immediately knew something was wrong. I got diagnosed with alopecia areta universalis. Your immune system attacks your hair follicles and makes them fall out, which means that I lost all of the hair on my body. I had no eyebrows, no eyelashes, no body hair, no hair on my head, like nothing within three months. There was a sense of relief and a little bit more understanding that it wasn't life-threatening. But we also understood that this was still going to be a tough battle for her. I was an absolute wreck as a mother because I felt so badly that I could not help her. Growing up, I always had long hair. I had thick, long hair. Never in my life would I have ever expected this to happen. I was so sad for her, but Rylan just remained herself. I tried to have a really good outlook on it because of the fact that people do have cancer and they lose their hair for much worse reasons. And you know, an autoimmune disease, as much as it stinks not to have hair, it is just hair. At first, a lot of people thought I was sick and I was going through like chemo and stuff. So it was really hard for me to talk to people and be like, I don't have cancer, I just have alopecia. I just kind of wish that anytime that someone looked, they would just ask me what's going on because you never know unless you ask. And a lot of people don't ask. We all run on hope. We hope that you go back to your normal self, but at the end of the day, I'm who I am, with hair or without hair. In September of 2022, my mom had been contacting a lot of different doctors for me to start a medication that would suppress my immune system and help me grow back my hair. I was very hesitant to start that medication just because getting your hair back and then eventually losing it again is a really hard thing to do. I loved my hair, so I, I was like, at the end of the day, and I'm not gonna not do something to do that just because I was scared. Coming into Northwestern, sophomore year, it was 2023, I came in middle of June, and I was fully bald in my head. I had little patches of hair that were like, we always bring it up. It looked like a snowflake. I had still been taking my medicine. And then in November, I was like, I swear I have to shave my head more frequently now. In December of 2023, I went home and I had shaved my head and my sister Breslin was like, right, you should really just try and grow it out again. I mean, once you grow it out, like those little spots will be covered anyways. And even if they aren't, who cares? So at that point I was like, you know what? Like, you're right. Her saying those words to me and giving me the confidence to try again was just everything and more. She is so strong and confident in who she is that like we're inspired to be around her and need support from her more than she needs us, which I think is just like the epitome of who she is. All right, we got it, this one, this one. We never really questioned her about it because she owned it and she told us about it from the start. Yeah. Yeah. I know the other girls on the team look at her as an inspiration and she just finds ways to be positive and to keep marching forward. Don't be so chill up there, girl. I questioned a lot of things in my life as to why it was me for a very long time. But at the end of the day, it happened and I had to get through it. <laughs> 